We try to be green in all aspects of our building. TIE stands for Teaching and Inspiring Environmental Stewardship. The TIE's program is an education outreach program offered by the School of Natural Resources and Environment. The program serves mostly middle and high school students who visit the Dana Building on field trips. Our mission is to teach about sustainability and green design using the Dana Building as our real world example. The greening of Dana refers to a green renovation that took place here between 1999 and 2004. The building is really quite old. It was built in 1903, and so by the time the 90s rolled around, the building was not up to code anymore, and we needed to expand, create more space for classrooms and laboratories. The Dana building received a gold lead rating, which is the second highest rating overall, and that makes us the greenest building here on campus. We're standing below the Dana Building's 4,000 square foot glass atrium ceiling. It provides this space with lots of natural light, which helps us save on our energy costs. And behind me, you can see one of the space's two conference rooms. It also has a skylight in the ceiling to let some of the natural light in. And the wood that you see was remilled from the attic timbers that used to be in the original building. Where we're standing right now is the top floor of the infill portion of the Dana building. Infill is like a building within a building, so where we're standing right now actually has completely independent support structures from the original historic portions of the building. A photovoltaic or PV array on the roof of the Dana building provides about 2% of the building's energy. There are two types of solar panels located in the array, a laminate type which is adhered directly to the metal surfaces of the roof, and a multicrystalline type which is an adjustable aluminum frame. The maximum capacity of the array is about 30 kilowatts. Here we are standing in one of the Dana Building's three composting toilets. We have one on the first, second, and third floors. Um, you can only have one per floor because as you can see, you need a straight shot from the toilet down to the holding chamber in the basement. And you may not be able to hear it, but there is a soft hum in this bathroom. Um, that's the hum of the motor for our ventilation system. It helps keep the bathrooms from smelling gross. <laughs> On the walls, we have glass tiles that are made from 55% recycled glass. Dana's three composting toilets, along with its low flow faucets, toilets, and urinals, help the building reduce its water use. Behind me may seem like an ordinary chalkboard, but it was actually a chalkboard from the original building that was saved during renovation and replaced once the renovation was complete. On the ceiling, you can see panels which make up our radiant cooling system, which is the primary cooling system in the building. Behind the panels are a series of tiny tubes which carry cold water. The cold water cools the air along the ceiling. The air sinks down where it warms up and is carried back to the ceiling to be cooled again. 